Finding a park in Surrey Hills is not easy. I thought I was going to just find street parking, but no, nothing. Absolutely nothing. Okay, I finally found a car spot. We are at a place that initially I didn't want to book because it was so expensive for just an hour, but we've ended up here anyway. But the most important thing is we found a car spot. So here we go. Okay, there are so many like new coffee shops that have opened here. I think, um, I think I'm gonna check out some of them a little bit later. Anyway, in today's video, I really wanna show you a place that I've been meaning to show you for the longest time. It's a really fun Japanese restaurant that I come here with my friends and with my family quite a bit. Uh, the food is tasty, but we're always in awe of the portion sizes and it's always quite affordable as well. They do also do a lunch and a dinner course that I wanna show you, so. Yeah, that's where we're heading to right now. Okay, so we've just arrived at Suzuya here at Surrey Hills. This is the place that I was telling you about. What I really like about this place is that they have like meal combinations and then you get to choose like a, a starter, an appetizer, and then a main. And it also comes with like different sides. And I'm here for lunch today. In terms of their lunch option and what I'm gonna be ordering today is I'm gonna be ordering their combination. So you can choose a, a starter and then you can choose one of your mains. And then depending on what you have ordered, it will come with a bowl of rice, miso soup and agadashi tofu. So what I ended up ordering today is I've got myself a sashimi as the starter and I've also got myself a pork katsu. One thing that I always order when I come here is I get their miso nasu. It is so, so good. And I will also always get their kaido salad. It's a sashimi salad on a huge bed of, of salad leaves. My hand for size. I always really enjoy it. So, for our lunch course today, thank you so much. I love tuna, so I can never go wrong with tuna. Another really great thing about this place is that the food comes relatively quickly. So even if you're hungry and getting a little bit hangry, you won't be hangry for long. Okay, so every course um, comes with your very own piece of agadashi tofu. savory, smooth, silky. All right, now let's move on to the mains. I've ordered the pork katsu and it comes with like a pretty big cabbage salad on the side and you have the option of, you know, you can choose to have rice or you can choose not to have rice. Of course I chose to have rice. But this, this is the place that I'm talking about. The exterior is crispy but it's still light and then you've got that you know sweet tangy katsu sauce on the on the pork as well perfect when you chase it with some rice like Star Wars is now like actually super convenient to get to so if you're looking to come here I would recommend just taking the light rail from central or you know town hall wherever um, because it's literally it's literally two steps away from the light rail station Okay, something additional that I ordered today is the croquette. So the croquette is a deep fried crumbed chunky potato with pumpkin, mayo, and corn. It's like mashed potatoes with a crunchy exterior. If you do end up coming here, regardless of whether you order the course or not, what I would um, recommend that you definitely order is the miso nasu. This is the miso eggplant. The way that they make it is delicious. Give the sashimi salad a go as well. 
I always really enjoy that. And um, if you have the option to order the tzikune, which is the chicken meatballs, give that a go. And if you do end up trying the course, let me know what you order and let me know what you think. Can I have a takeaway box? Uh, just one, yeah. When I was walking out of the parking place, I saw a few new cafes that I've never seen before. So I'm a little bit tempted to try something from one of those places. There are a few restaurants that I've been meaning to try. Have you tried this one? This one I want to try. And also this one. This one I also really want to try. Thanks so much. Have a good day. See ya. I just got a small coffee because I've already had a coffee for today. Very nice. The vlog camera that I typically use to, to film, it's there's something wrong with it and I'm actually going to take it to get it looked at and hopefully get it fixed so that I can use it as, as, I was going to say ASAP and as soon as possible at the same time um, so that I can use it ASAP. So we're going to be driving about 20 minutes to the location of the repair place and yeah. This is the route that I typically drive if I'm going to the airport and to be honest I just I just miss traveling so much like even though sometimes the day of travel can be quite chaotic and you know you're rushing to, to make sure you don't you know miss anything like I miss that and I miss stepping on an airplane and I miss the excitement of you know going to a, a completely new place I just can't I just can't wait to, to travel again it's been close to three years which is crazy I'm not a hundred percent sure what the situation is going to be I I doubt this would be able to get fixed today so i think i probably need to leave the camera here and then they'll call me when when it's all fixed up i think okay have a good afternoon see ya all right and that is that hopefully Hopefully it's not too big of a problem and it doesn't take too long to fix and then I'll have my vlog camera as soon as possible because that's my favorite vlog camera and it's so light as well. But yeah, we'll see. Um, they said to give them a call uh, next week if I haven't heard anything back. So I guess we'll see. Okay, we are back at Darling Square because today I'm meeting up with my friends. Actually, I've already met up with them. They're walking on the side. Um, oh, there she is. So we are going to Market City to have Hot Pot. It's called, I always get the name confused, Dollar Shop, Dollar Store, Hot Dollar. I'll figure it out. But I really like that place because you get like your individual hot pots. And yeah, I'll show you everything that we have when we get there. Okay, we're just ordering a whole bunch of dishes. Uh, we've got a whole range of different meats, uh, veggies, noodles. I'm really, really excited. My friends just went out to get the like appetizers and sauces, which I'll get to in just a sec. By the way, make sure you follow me on my Instagram. It's, it's Janice Fool. I make a lot of reels and stories that I don't necessarily post on YouTube so go follow me there so you don't miss out anything. Thank you so much. This is our signature soy sauce. Okay. Which is made from seafood. Yeah. This is a perfect match for the bowl. Uh, for the oh. So this is like the special 
special sauce. Yes, this is a very, very popular one. Everybody, this is amazing. Wow. I'm not gonna drink it. I just want to talk about the sauce. The sauce is so good. I feel like I feel like I can eat rice just with this sauce. No, I was saying to my friends, I can eat noodles like the dry noodle type just with this sauce. It's delicious. I can't wait for it to come. And we are pretty much done with hot pot. That was very satisfying. I ate a lot. There is a little bit left over, but I think we did a pretty good job. Um, if you want to watch a full video of me eating here, I've actually done a previous video at the dollar store. You can watch it right here. But yes, we are done with dinner for today. Shopping at Coles with a Woolworths bag. Yeah. One for one fifty or three for four. So I save fifty cents. How do you know a good lemon that's like juicy with skin that's not too thick? I guess it's like it's like it's like getting an orange, hey? It's quite similar. I feel like sometimes the bigger ones, it's just like they have really thick skin. What you need to do YouTube. Whoa, what happened here? I remember in one of my previous videos, I wasn't sure how to wash the grater that I use to grate up the carrots. And a few of you suggested to use like a dish brush. Is this the dishwasher you were talking about? Or is it these ones? This one's half price. I'll try this. So you kind of already saw what I'm gonna be eating for dinner tonight. Hey, 
This is dinner. That was very easy to make. It was like prep, I think would take like maximum five minutes. And then, and then the cooking at the salmon, like no more than 15 minutes, probably less if you know, you have a smaller piece of salmon. Lately, I've been watching reruns of um, The Office. Like I've seen all of The Office already and I'm just watching it again because I just find it so funny. That's really good. I'm so hungry. Anyway, that is pretty much it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching till the end. I post new videos every week. Check them out if you have time. Have an amazing rest of the week and I will see you in my next video next week. Bye. No, I don't think... It's Why does it open? Why does it open?